Talking preps, Fayetteville football, Billy Dawson, kind enough to join us this morning. 31-28, tough loss Friday night against Bentonville West to open the conference season. But still a lot of football to be played. Just means you're not going to go undefeated, right? Well, that's right. You know, it, uh, you know Bentonville West has a good football team and, uh, you know, is awfully proud of ours. Uh, we're over, overcoming some injuries and things, and I thought we had some young men that stepped in and, and played really well, and I think you'll see uh, see a vast improvement in some of those guys uh, in the coming weeks. You say you did have some guys step up. I thought Hank Gibbs started a little stuff uh, rough at quarterback, but he really seemed to get more comfortable as the game went on and showed you know, he did. what he, kind of arm he's got. He does. He has a great arm, and he got in a little bit of a rhythm, and he did have a tough start. But you got to remember, you know, that's that guy's first varsity start in his life, and and uh, in a big conference game at home and and uh, I thought he settled down and did a nice job and and uh, he'll he'll continue to grow from that and get better as as uh, you know Darius continues to get healthy and and uh, eventually hope we get him back but Hank's doing a good job he's had a great week of practice and you know I really look forward to watching him play tomorrow night yeah, it was, it was interesting. I mean, you mentioned all that adversity. Plus, you had the fact you had a wet football. I mean, it was raining all <laughs> night Friday. So, first start, uh, conference opener, wet football. All in all, I mean, that's a lot for a young man to handle who hadn't played, and he handled it really well. I thought he did. And uh, he's a great kid, and he's a great character kid, and a very academic kid. I thought he thought he did a really nice job. and. And again, uh, he'll be the first to tell you he's gonna, he's going to get a lot better, and uh, his nerves will be a little better this week, and and he's had a really good week of preparation. So uh, I'm I'm looking forward to the opportunity to watch him Friday. Indeed, I know you don't like to talk about rankings too much, but just to let everybody know, Fayetteville number four this week. Always nice to be in the top five, top four, but the big number conference start 0 and 1. But as we said, a lot of football left to be played in this standings is going to go up and down throughout the remainder of the season um rogers coming up friday night what do you expect from the mounties well I, you know i think they have a really good quarterback as well the lloyd kid the coach's son's a really good player he's a six four kid he he uh kind of reminds me of a little gunslinger blair i mean he'll throw it all over the field he he likes to get on the move he throws it well on the run you know they threw it 58 times against van buren friday night so uh, you know, they played Parkview earlier in the year where they were heavy run, and then Friday night they were threw it all over the place. So uh, who, who, who we're going to get, we don't know, uh, trying to prepare for both of those things. But I really think he's a really good player. They have a couple receivers that are really, really nice players. And, and I think probably offensive line-wise, they're as big and as good as I've seen them be, uh, you know, since I've been here. I think they've done a really nice job on the offensive line. What do you guys work on practice this week? Uh, a lot of ourselves, Blair, trying to get trying to get some guys comfortable, trying to get Hank comfortable, trying to to gear down to what we feel like Hank is good at, and uh, trying to make him comfortable. You know, I think our offensive lines play better each week. Uh, we're going to see a big blitz team this week, so that'll be a little bit different. Uh, but we've been working on tempo, and we've been working on. Uh, just some little things within ourselves that we feel like we need to get better on. Conference play, there really are no secrets uh, at this point in the year. Do you put new wrinkles in each each week, or do you, how, how do you approach that to try to make it different because everybody's got film of everybody at this point? Yeah, they do, and yes, we do. And, you know, we try to do some different things each week, and and a lot of those things are it may not be to the common eye. You know, it, it may just be something subtle that we've changed or done, something to give someone a false key or false read, uh, maybe as simply as an alignment uh, maneuver, uh, you know, our personnel maneuver. So uh, there are a lot of things I think each team does every week, and, and uh, in terms of trying to gain an advantage or trying to show something maybe – uh, you hadn't shown. So uh, as we get deeper into it, that, that becomes more and more of part of the game plan because with all the huddle, Blair, and with all the self-scout, and, uh, boy, you can come up with so many numbers. We know exactly the percentage of everything they do and when they do it and 
and what yard line and hash and what quarter and what time in the game. And, and so you can get deep, you can get buried uh, in a lot of that information and you've got to be able to decipher through and figure out, you know, what do you want to attack? So uh, we spend a lot of time with numbers crunching, obviously, and trying to, to, to figure out who they are and who we are because we do our own self scout to, no week to week, you know, what's our first down calls, what's our left hash calls, what's our opening drive calls, uh, all those things that we do just for ourselves. That's fascinating. But how do you keep from getting bogged down in the numbers and overanalyzing everything? And there's a fine well, line it's there, easy isn't to it? do. It's very easy to do. And, and I'm the number guy. So uh, I, I, I decipher through and I share with our coaches what I feel like is really important for them to know. And, you know, teams get in formation, they get in formation uh, tendencies where in the formation where the back set one way or the other to according to a receiver, they're going to do a certain thing. And, and so you got to go in each week and break some of your own tendencies in, in order for that number to go down. So, uh, you know, we're in the middle of the season where we're trying to break some tendencies uh, of ourselves. All right. Well, Coach, I appreciate it. Best of luck Friday night. We'll catch up with you next week. Thanks, Blair. Go dogs. Thank, thank you.